it is Matt here from Terra Media, and today we're going to talk about how to use the customer reviews you've been capturing with customer reviews for WooCommerce to build your customer trust by displaying them more effectively throughout your website. So we're going to look at two things as part of today's video. One, improving the display of customer reviews on your product pages and displaying reviews throughout your website. So come with me now. This is arianrodaromatics.com. So you can see on this product, they've collected a number of reviews. This is how they look. It's not too bad, but it could be better. You might have noticed, this is how your reviews look by default. They're sorted based on the oldest first. All of your reviews are also shown at once. So you've got to scroll all the way to the end to get to the newest. And that can be a long scroll if there's a lot of reviews. Customer reviews for WooCommerce does add this verified review badge automatically. We don't have to do anything to set it up. It's there. That's the default config, which is great. But there is more we can do with it. So how do we add this graph at the top with our breakdown of star ratings? How do we make it sort by most recent? How do we add this voting option to allow potential customers to vote on whether the review was helpful or not? How do we sort by most helpful reviews based on these votes? And how do we display our reviews on other pages with these badges? Well, first off, I'm assuming that you've got the customer reviews for WooCommerce plugin installed on your WooCommerce store already. If not, head to this video and follow those instructions to install it and get it configured using my recommended default settings. And then come back here. Oh wait, I promise it won't go anywhere. You're back. Cool. Okay. So come with me over to your WordPress dashboard, head to the reviews drop down and go to settings. Now this will take you to the main settings screen where we configure those defaults in that other video I mentioned. Again, if you haven't done that, click the link, go do it. Now we want to look today at the review extension setting and the trust badges setting. So we'll start with the review extensions because this is the section that is going to most affect our display on our product. So from this screen, our first few options are just related to the WooCommerce review form. I'm not gonna go into them in this video, but have a look because you can configure how that form displays on this section if you wish. Scroll down to the review shortcodes section. Now you'll see here that we can enable shortcodes and Gutenberg blocks. Tick that box. That's really important because that gives us the ability to use these assorted shortcodes and their arguments to add our website to display the reviews. And that lets us do really cool things like this. All of these review shortcodes, you can copy and paste as they are, and also the arguments that are accepted by them to configure how they look. So for example, on this page, I'm using the customer reviews grid shortcode. That's this one, customer reviews grid. There's a number of arguments, you can see them all in use in this example, and you can see an explanation of what they do here. So I've used some of those arguments in that grid, but not all of them. That particular shortcode is also available as a block in the WordPress Gutenberg editor. So you don't even need to use the shortcode tree if you don't want to. Coming down further are the rest of our display options that we really want to look at today. The review summary bar. If we turn this on, this enables this graph. So that one we really want because then customers get a quick overview of how the product has been rated. They can see a comparison of how many people vote one star, for example, versus five stars. The vote for reviews option lets people upvote and downvote our reviews, where it says, was this review helpful to you? Yes, no, and you can then vote for that. Coming back to our settings page, the remove plugins branding option will turn off the powered by customer reviews plugin text that displays under this graph if it's enabled or with the reviews if that's not enabled. I like to leave that on because customer reviews is providing the plugin for free and why not support them? Now under the lazy load reviews section, if we tick this display reviews with the show more button, this then gives us our reviews with that show more button so it doesn't display everything all at once. Once we turn that on, that also gives us access to the default review quantity. So I usually leave this at five because that's generally fairly short to look at. And it gives us access to the default sorting order, which will have recent reviews first, 
or we can switch it to most helpful reviews first. In either case, at the top of the page, customers can always change the sort to the other option if they prefer. The review form is displayed by default, but you can turn it off. Turning it off means that customers can only leave reviews via the customer reviews for WooCommerce form after they've been sent an invitation. I usually leave it on, and it does look better than the default because we now have an add a review button here rather than, you may have noticed down here where we have to scroll all the way to the end of the page to get to this add a review form. So instead we can click that and it just loads the form up straight away. This is another option to prevent spam. Turning it off means that customers can only leave a review after they've been sent an invitation and therefore it's almost impossible to get spam reviews coming in. Once you've configured these options and turned them on, click the blue save changes button down here. Once we've saved that, we can now start to use these short codes and Gutenberg blocks around our website. Let's say we wanted to display some of our reviews on a Gutenberg page that we're working on. From the Gutenberg editor, we can click the plus icon to add a new block. If we search for reviews, you'll see we've got our default WooCommerce options here for all reviews, reviews by product or reviews by category. And then we've also got the reviews grid. Now this reviews grid is the same grid that we can get via the short code that we looked at on the settings screen. So I'm going to add that one. When it loads up, you'll see it here with the default settings. Over here on the right hand side, if my face is not in the way, you'll see we have a number of options. Number of reviews displayed, and this is product reviews. The number of shop reviews we want to display. Do we want to show the products? So that's this little bit below the review with the product name and image. Do we want to link that to the product itself so visitors can click it and take them to the product? Do we want to enable the display of shop reviews? Now that's what this number up here is referring to. Do we want to display reviews for inactive products? And do we want to show customer avatars? Now that's this image here, which will show their gravatar, for example, if they have one, or if they've set a profile image in their WooCommerce account. Below that, we can choose to sort by date or by rating. And then under that, we can choose our sort order. It defaults to ascending, but we can also switch it to ascending or random. Below the review grid settings, we have product categories. We expand that. We can choose to only display reviews for specific categories. For example, I might just want to display reviews for this Tiva Skin Solutions category. We can choose specific products in the next section. Now we do this by either selecting the product or searching for it. And that will show us just reviews for that specific product. In this case, there's only one for the product I selected. Under this, we can set colors. So there's a number of options here. The external border, the card border, and that's the bit immediately around each review. The background color, the review card background. So that's the section within the review. The product area background. So that's this section here. And then we have advanced options at the end. Now this just lets us add extra CSS classes. So if we scroll back up to the top of our settings here, we can enable shop reviews. And this is something that's really important to note because this then adds these two numbers together. So our grid now has four items in it, three plus one shop review. You can have a maximum of six product reviews and a maximum of three shop reviews in any single grid. Make sure to configure these numbers so that your grid stays consistent. Otherwise, you'll get things that look a little bit skewy like this. All right, so that's how you can figure your customer reviews for WooCommerce review grid using the block in the Gutenberg editor. But what about if you wanna use the short code? What about if you're using a page builder, for example, like Elementor? Well, come with me now, and I will show you exactly how we would do that. So I'm here in Elementor looking at the About page on Arianod Aromatics. So that's this page here where we've got this big gold grid of customer reviews. What I've done is I've gone into Elementor, searched for this short code element, and I've brought that in. And I've inserted a short code based on the ones here in the customer reviews for WooCommerce extension setting. I've used the cast over reviews grid short code, and I've used a couple of these arguments to configure how I want it to look. So you can see here, I've added shop reviews equals true to display shop reviews. And you can see there's one in here. It's this one that doesn't have the product with it. And I've set my count to 11. Now, just as a quick reminder, that's because it defaults to one shop review being shown. So if I have 11 products and one shop review, that gives me 12, which makes my grid even. 
So that's all the arguments I've specified, and that creates this display. There are other arguments we can use though. We can turn off the pictures and names of products using this show products argument and setting it to false. We can turn off links to the products. We can use count to specify the number of product reviews to show. We can choose to specify categories and products, hour sorting, color scheme, whether we want to show shop reviews, how many shop reviews. So for example, I could add this count shop reviews argument and I could say equals six. Now that will update and it has put in six shop reviews. So that's the basics of how the customer reviews Gutenberg block and the short codes work to bring in your reviews from customer reviews for WooCommerce and display them in different places around your website. And you can use that anywhere that your website will allow short codes. So that includes pages, posts, widgets, and page builder templates as well, like the Elementor page that we were just looking at. But remember that overall review display, this one here, that shows the total number of reviews, the overall store rating and the overall product rating that I have here. How do you display that? Well, from your customer reviews for WooCommerce settings, go to the Trust Badges section here. So this screen is where we enable the display of these green trust icons or trust badges. And this is enabled by default. If for some reason you wanted to turn those off, you would untick this option next to Trust Badges. However, we need that enabled to display these bigger badges with our overall rating. Just below Trust Badges, you'll see the Verified Reviews page. Now this is where you can specify a URL on the Cusrev website where all of your reviews are collected. By default, this will be your store URL, but you can change this if you want to. Below that, you'll see we have all of these badge examples. So on this site, I don't have any reviews, but if we had a look at that on the Arian Rod Aromatics website, you can see we have all of these ones here that are pre-filled with our total number of reviews, our overall store ratings, and our overall product ratings. You'll see above each of these a short code that applies to them. Simply copy that short code and paste it in anywhere that you want to display these blocks. There are arguments available here, the badge type, the border, whether it's on or not, and the background color. So let's say I wanted to add this badge on my website. I would just select this short code, copy it, and then I would go to my page. Now I can put that in here in Gutenberg by adding a short code widget, and I can then paste my short code in, or I can do this in my page builder, for example in Elementor. You'll see here I have this one already, and it's this short code, but I could replace it. And now we see our new one. And that's all that you have to do. Just make sure you save your changes when you're done. So that's it. You now know how to take your reviews that you've been collecting and display them around your website in different places. Your reviews can now start to work harder for you to build trust with your customers. You can show your overall review badges with your total number of ratings and your average rating, both for your store, if you've enabled store reviews, and for your products. You can stick that in your website anywhere that your theme or your page builder will let you, including using Gutenberg blocks or your shortcodes. I hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to like it and also subscribe to my channel for the rest of the videos in this series on how to leverage the customer reviews for WooCommerce plugin to build customer trust and increase your sales on your WooCommerce store. That's it for now. See you next time.